What if you could simulate nature itself, not approximate it, but compute it exactly? What if we finally had a computer that could decode chemical reactions, molecular interactions, and subatomic behaviors in real time, all with precision that even supercomputers can't dream of? That's the holy grail of quantum computing. And Microsoft, they're claiming they've just taken a giant leap toward it. In February 2025, Microsoft unveiled a machine 17 years in the making, a chip built on a material that never existed before, using particles that were once just mathematical ghosts. It's called Majorana 1. Introducing a breakthrough in quantum computing, the Majorana 1. And it's got the tech world buzzing, the physics world split, and the future of computing on edge. Let's break down the science, the ambition, the controversy, and whether this really is the dawn of the quantum age. Hey folks, welcome back to Quantumfy, your front row seat to tomorrow's tech and today's biggest scientific bets. In this episode, we're peeling back the quantum layers on Majorana 1, Microsoft's first ever quantum processor based on a topological core. Is this truly the future of fault-tolerant computing, or just another overpromised prototype? Buckle up, smash that like button, and let's break this down atom by atom. Why Majorana 1 matters. Before we go deep, let's level set. Classical computers, even the best supercomputers, are horrible at modeling complex quantum systems. They can handle 10 electrons, maybe 20, Beyond that, you're looking at time frames that would outlive the universe. A quantum computer changes the game by leveraging phenomena like superposition and entanglement, allowing it to explore multiple outcomes simultaneously. But the Achilles heel has always been stability. Qubits are fragile, they're noisy, they decohere quickly. Every real world quantum system from Google's Sycamore to IBM's Eagle has to wrestle with the error correction, cooling, decoherence, and scaling nightmares. Microsoft's answer? Don't just make a better chip, create an entirely new kind of qubit. What is Majorana? Majorana 1 is the first quantum processor designed by Microsoft to harness topological qubits, qubits that aren't just manufactured, but engineered at the most fundamental level of matter. Built using a hybrid of indium, arsenide, and aluminum, Majorana 1 is a superconducting semiconducting hybrid that supports a mysterious quasi particle the Majorana Zero Mode. This particle is its own antiparticle. Think about that. It's like a ghost in the machine, half electron, half nothing, but with just enough quantum strangeness to encode information in a fundamentally stable way. Why does that matter? Because a topological qubit powered by these particles would theoretically be far more resistant to noise and decoherence, smaller and more densely packed, and capable of fault-tolerant computation without needing massive error correction overhead. Microsoft says they can fit over a million of these things on a single chip. That's not iterative progress. That's a quantum leap. The material breakthrough. Top O conductors. To achieve this, Microsoft had to go beyond semiconductors and invent something new. Top of conductors. These are materials that not only conduct like semiconductors, but also exhibit topological superconductivity, a state of matter only theorized until recently. In their own words, Microsoft engineered a new material that allows them to control the Majorana Zero Mode. Not just observe it, not just infer it, control it. That's a major shift. In quantum physics, control is everything. If you can braid these particles, swap their positions, you can actually perform computations. That's the core idea behind topological quantum computing. Information stored in the topology, not the local state. It's like tying knots instead of stacking blocks. You can shake the rope, but the knot stays intact. This material and this approach could solve the three biggest problems plaguing quantum systems. Stability, scalability, and speed. The system design, not just a chip. Majorana 1 isn't meant to work alone. Microsoft's architecture pairs the quantum chip with a classical controller and an application layer, forming a hybrid system. The quantum accelerator handles ultra-complex simulations and parallelism. The classical core manages control, orchestration, and input and output. Together, 
They process tasks with quantum-enhanced speed, then synthesize the results for human-readable outputs. This isn't a black box machine. It's a modular quantum stack designed for real-world integration, not just lab tests. What can this actually do? The promise of Majorana 1, and topological qubits in general, is that they can finally take quantum computing from cool demos to world-changing applications. Drug discovery in hours instead of years. Chemical modeling at the fidelity of real experiments without needing a lab. Material design that creates new molecules, alloys, or superconductors on demand. Battery innovation. Imagine a battery that never loses charge. Food production, climate modeling, carbon capture, AI acceleration, one Microsoft researcher put it simply, imagine computing a material with such precision that it's first time right. You walk into the lab and it just works. That's the kind of power Majorana 1 aims to unlock. The history, 17 years of quiet grinding. What's wild is that Microsoft has been working on this in silence for almost two decades. Since 2006, their Station Q lab, a collaboration of mathematicians, physicists, engineers, and material scientists has been pushing toward this vision. In 2018, they claimed to have detected Majorana particles. But after intense scrutiny, the data was rejected from nature. The signal was likely a false positive caused by Andreev modes, which mimic Majorana behavior but aren't topologically useful. That setback could have ended the project. Instead, they regrouped, they rebuilt. And in February 2025, they came back. This time, they didn't just say, we see something. They built a chip, demonstrated readout, showed a working architecture, and published again, in nature, no less. The controversy, Majorana or maybe not? Still, the scientific community isn't all in. The new Nature paper from Microsoft claims priority measurements and signatures consistent with Majorana's zero modes, but even the authors admit the measurements do not by themselves determine whether the low energy states detected are topological. Translation, they might be Majorana modes, or they might be more Andreev imposters. Critics point out no conclusive evidence of coherence, no demonstrated quantum logic gates, and no actual computation performed. Right now, the only confirmed achievement is readout capability, an important step, but not the finish line. So while the chip is real and the materials are groundbreaking, the quantum core remains in question. The bigger picture, why this still matters. Even if Majorana 1 isn't a fully functional QPU yet, it represents a directional shift. Instead of trying to patch noisy qubits with endless error correction, Microsoft is trying to build stability into the hardware itself. This is like jumping straight from vacuum tubes to silicon transistors, not refining the past, but inventing the future. And the fact that they've built a real chip with working readout on a new state of matter, that alone puts them on the cutting edge of physics and engineering. Even skeptics admit the architecture is impressive. The material science is sound, the ambition unquestionable. The philosophy, materials define eras. There's a quote from the Microsoft team that hits hard. We name the ages of mankind after materials. Stone, bronze, iron, silicon. What comes next? If Majorana 1 works as designed, the answer might be topological. We could be entering an age where we don't just work with materials, we engineer them to obey custom physics where quantum logic is baked into the very lattice of matter, where computation becomes as natural as breathing and as powerful as creation. So is Majorana 1 a quantum miracle or a misunderstood prototype? Is Microsoft leading us into a new era or repeating the missteps of 2018? Right now, the answer is we don't know yet, but the stakes, they've never been higher. Let me know what you think. Is this the right direction for quantum computing? Are topological qubits the missing piece, or is this another hype cycle with fantasy diagrams? Drop a comment below, smash that like if your brain's tingling, and don't forget to subscribe because next episode we're diving into IBM's new 1,121 qubit Condor chip and how Google's AI is helping stabilize noisy quantum systems. Until then, keep asking questions, stay curious, and keep your qubits cool and your top of conductors colder. This is QuantumFi, signing off.